Hi everyone, welcome back. It is me, the Naptime Sewist. If you would like some summer inspiration for your sewing, then grab a cup and come and join me for our three fabrics, three patterns. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you have been here before and welcome. If you have never been here before, if this is your first time, well then welcome here. How, where have you been? <laughs> um, today I am going to take three fabrics from the website and three patterns and we're going to do some fabric matching because isn't that one of the best things to do about the creative process is getting inspiration and seeing where we're going to go with our mix this time around. So, um, hopefully you will enjoy what I have chosen. If you have any ideas about either the patterns or the fabrics that I have chosen, if you have them at home, if you have made something different, please feel free to comment below and let me know what you have been making or what you plan to make. Um, I always love to know what people are up to. And again, if you have purchased any of the um, fabrics, let me know and tell me what your plans are. Um, Oh, I'll let you know what I am wearing. So I am wearing the Tilly and the Buttons Estee. Uh, yep, I do, I have it here. So I have the, I'm wearing the top from the Tilly and the Buttons Estee. Um, I am just wearing a pair of ready to wear jeans. Um, I think I got them from a thrift shop or I'm not actually really sure where I got them, but they're ready to wear anyway, I know that much. Um, in the Estee I'm actually going to film a video shortly um, talking about my experience of making the Estee. This one I have made is in a size 3 and I feel that this fits uh, quite well. Um, the first one I made was a size 4 um, but I, I really I really like the Estee, I'm a big fan. Um, I have the trousers traced out as well. I can't quite decide on which fabric to go for um, to make them up. I know I know I want a viscose. I want something that is flowy um, for the summer. I had kind of lean, I was kind of leaning towards this one because this one is one of my favourites, it's another art gallery fabric. Um, but I don't know because I had also planned a Brumby in that as well and I haven't even, I have it all, I have everything traced out. Um, I just haven't the fabric, I haven't even the fabric pre-washed yet. So I'm not sold, I don't know, I don't know which, I want to make something with that fabric but I'm just, I'm torn between which I think I'll probably get more wear out of the SD trousers than I would the Brumby. So I'm not sure, but anyway. That's what I'm wearing today. Pop this back up here. Um, so will we get started on the three fabrics, three patterns? Um, I'll take a quick swig. Oh, I do love a cup of tea. I do love a cup of tea. I'm just on some chamomile today. I keep the nerves calm, you know. Um, I'm very lucky. My mum has the kids for me this afternoon, so I could get a bit of filming done today. But Pattern and fabric matchup number one. Here we said number two, number one. Um, so I have gone for the Tilly and the Buttons um, Agnes, an oldie but a goodie. So the Agnes goes from a UK size six to a UK size 34. So a fairly good, um, range this ha the Agnes was recently re-released so um, originally it didn't have just as extensive um, size ranges now Tilly had um, I think they were re-released maybe in June correct me if I'm wrong if I'm wrong if, it, if they were re-released earlier than that feel free to let me know in the comments below um, but I think it might have been June um 
the measurements on this go from a 76 centimeter or 30 inches on the bust to 152.5 or 60 inches on the bust and the hip is 84 centimeters or 33 inches right up until 155 centimeters or 61 inches yes so um your fabric requirements are anywhere between 1.4 to 2.6 so definitely i will insert all of the details anyway um so that you guys can see you know what i can see here on the back um but i suppose you could say I took my inspiration from the front with um, the fabric that I chose and the fabric that I chose, I love it. Um, it's sort of like a, it's nearly like a cream sort of color. It's an art, it's one of the art gallery fabric jerseys and it's nearly like a sort of a cream color. Um, it is the same on both sides so at least if you are if you're planning something that has you know for some things it doesn't really matter um whether they're the same on both sides or not but certainly if you were planning on making something with um you know like a tie knot or like a twist in it or you know some sort of cutout feature um a fabric that is the same on both sides works really really well because it means if you get if you do get a wee flash of the wrong side of the fabric at least it is the same color as the front side most patterns that's not going to make very much of a difference but you know it do, it definitely makes a difference if um if that's the type of pattern that you're going to make and that's the kind of look that you're going for but the art gallery fabrics is just so soft this one is um striped stripped apart C or striped part C, I think it's striped part C. Um, it is 30 pounds or 30, 30 pounds. 13 pounds per half meter. It is 95% Pima cotton and 5% spandex. It has 60% stretch crossways and 50% stretch sort of on the vertical. Um, it is 145 centimeters wide or 57 inches wide so that's that's the details for this one and um, again I'll put them all below anyway but I just think it's a really it's like a it's like a cream and then a, a very light blue um, stripe and I just love it um, I think it's really really pretty I think if you didn't have um, the Agnes or if you wanted to try it with a free pattern I think is it Tasudi fabrics have the boat neck tee again correct me if I am wrong and um, I have a funny feeling I might be wrong on this occasion um but there is a there's a boat neck tee and it's online it's free I, if I am wrong I will check it out and I will put in the right details for it um, but that would be a nice free pattern to try this out with and um, I just felt like these were both a good mix because Tilly and the Buttons are very good for their instructions they're very good for um, they're very friendly towards beginner sewers and if it's your first time using some stretch fabric it's nice to have that extra support because even you know online um, Tilly and the Buttons will have extra support online for how to sew with stretch and um, their own different uh, patterns. They'll have maybe like we sew alongs or um, hints and tips for sewing the patterns and what works and what doesn't work. So Tilly and the Buttons is really good in that way. And I find when working with the art gallery fabrics now, they are slightly more expensive, but what I have to say is they're really easy to sew with. Sometimes you just get a stretch fabric and they just don't want to play. Um, whereas I find art gallery fabric, they just they are really good quality and they sew up really well, they sew up really easily and they last. You know, the quality in them, you know, wash after wash after wash. It was actually at a sewing meetup um on Saturday in Drummond S and 
one of the girls that was there was saying she had been out with her sister who had made a top in an art gallery jersey and she said the top was still like new and it was years old but it was still like new so you know they still wash really well they hold their color really well so to me i do feel like sometimes you have to decide whether um quality over quantity sometimes but um definitely i do think that these two are a good match because you know an easy beginner friendly pattern and um quality fabric as well so pattern and fabric match up number one um what else have we got oh this is one of my favorite fabrics so the next fabric i have and match up is our own custom fabric um custom cotton jersey and the lovely again Tilly in the buttons pearl cardigan so um the pearl ranges in sizes again from uk6 to a uk34 so again i will insert the details over here just to the side um fabrics wise the length you are going to need is it says here now if you are going to try and make this on 115 centimeter you can't make it from si sizes 12 13 14 and 15 cannot be made on a narrower fabric you need to have the wider fabric to make that up so that's a really good um key point if you are wanting to make the pearl up in any of those four sizes you need to make sure and have the wider fabric so something that is at least um sort of 56 inches wide which this one is thankfully um so yes you're talking anywhere between 2.7 and 1.9 meters but on to the really awesome part the fabric so i'll open this side a bit we'll go this way it's hard to open this one out because i had to roll this myself this came um just in it was just all folded in uh in a box and i had to roll it and the one that i rolled it onto wasn't great and the sort of tube that i rolled it onto was not great in the first place and it snapped as soon as i tried to lift it but anyway so that is how it moves that's how it drapes so this is a cotton jersey this one is seven pounds fifty per half meter so this one's probably a little bit more um budget friendly it is 220 gsm and it is 57 inches wide so at least you know it's going to be wide enough for the um you know for all of it you know it'll go across all the fabric sizes now this i love this fabric i have made um I'll maybe see if i can find a picture and insert it just over to the side here i made a grace top in this fabric and um just due to circumstances it had to go through quite a few boil washes um and it still looks fantastic it still has loads of vibrant color it didn't go bally it didn't didn't even shrink um, which I was really surprised about. I was like, how has that not shrunk? But I suppose I did pre, I had pre-washed it before I um, sewed anything up with it anyway. Um, but I absolutely love this fabric. I'm trying to think, did we have it in the nappy? Yeah, I had this in the pull as well. This was nappy fabric. The nappy fabric in it went just like that. Like I didn't even, <laughs> I don't even know that because I don't a pre-order for it. And I don't even think I had any left after the pre-order. I think it had all sold during the pre-order. But it's a really nice, it's really nice to work with. Um, it has a good weight. Like I said, it's 220 GSM. So um, when you, that's not a great place to show whether it wipes out or anything. 
you can sort of see there. It has, and it has great recovery as well. Um, but that's why I'm recommending it because I have sewed with it myself and I absolutely love the um the top that I made when I made the grace. Now I think if I was making it again, I'd probably make it slightly shorter or slight not have it you know flare out just as much at the bottom. I'd probably just um I think I'd just cut it off um and make it a bit more sort of tuck into your trousers friendly. But that is my recommendation. I just think that this fabric in the pearl cardigan would be absolutely beautiful imagine even like because we have the art gallery fabric in like a really bright pink like a hot pink nice wee camisole in underneath and just make it absolutely pop with that and um the top that i made i wore it with um black leggings because it's quite long and um, i wore it with black leggings and i just absolutely love it it looks perfect looks perfect and it's always easy for running around in if anybody has any um small people i.e children at home um you know yourself you just need something that's comfortable to be able to run around in and still be able to manage all of the children so i find and it hides a stain really well <laughs> because there's so much going on um if there's any spills they go unnoticed for a while at least because there's so much going on with the pattern so many different colors and designs that it's all quite well hidden which is always a bonus whenever there's children running around um but yes that is fabric and pattern matchup number two so on to our last one i'm going to get another swig of tea mm. And I love this. So we have, is it this way around? Yes. The Style Arc Monty shirt and dress. And this gorgeous, absolutely stunning art gallery fabric rayon. It is beautiful. So we have gone from extremely beginner friendly to maybe not so extremely beginner friendly but certainly it's one of those patterns where it pushes you it helps you build your skill base now i haven't made this but i love the look of it i have used style arc before though so i'm fairly familiar with um their sort of instructions and how little of them that there are i made the bonnie woven skirt and um, if i can find a photograph i will insert it here to let you have a nosy at it um and the waistband it was head scratcher i wasn't really sure what it meant what it was talking about there wasn't really very much in the way of sort of pictorial instructions and there wasn't an awful lot of pictures. So I, there was, I made the style arc fairly early on in my sort of sewing journey, my sewing journey. Um, I know it always sounds so corny when you say it, but when you think it, it sounds fine. It's just when you say it out loud. Um, but I made it fairly early on and I hadn't really an awful lot of garment sewing under my belt when I tried it and it worked for me do you know and I kind of feel like if I can do it anybody really could give it a go because I wouldn't be the most uh I'm one of those people if I try it and it really isn't working I tend to give up so if I didn't give up on it you're on to a winner you, you must be able to but I really do like this the anyway that's enough about style arc on to the best bit of the fabric so i love this fabric it is called it is the art gallery fabrics capri 12 um it's 11 pounds a half meter 100 percent premium rayon it is 138 centimeters or 54 inches wide 
um, it is Ecotech certified and it is 76 GSM so the drape is it's just beautiful um, get this other wee bit of elastic off so there my look at that look how that moves isn't that just beautiful now what I would say is I don't know if you can see that it would be ever so slightly sheer so um certainly for part of it i would say if i was making the shirt on its own i wouldn't really worry about um lining it an awful lot some people would prefer it to be lined and that's fine and um, for me it wouldn't annoy me too much for the dress i would possibly think about lining you know even even half lining it um well i suppose it depends on how long you were planning on making it but i mean isn't that just beautiful have i got that out up the right way is that up i have that upside down <laughs> is it this way yeah it's that way Sorry, I had it upside down. It's just the way it was on the... I wonder if I go this way, maybe. Nah, still upside down. I don't know how to show you it and show you it really well without it being upside down. There, is that better? Weave it. But I love it. I absolutely love it. I just think it's beautiful. Um, and you know, it actually would have been really good for, was it so fruity? Um, the challenge by Blossom Sandwich there recently on Instagram. Um, Blossom Sandwich, she is the, her and her hubby are the creator of Stash Hub. It's an app where you can um, record your, or, well, keep track of your, um, your fabric stash and um, I suppose use it to plan all of your mix but she runs this challenge every year called so fruity and you get a fruit themed fabric you can buy it if you want or it can be one that's just in your stash and you sew it up and share it and it, you know the fruity theme is quite open to interpretation um Blossom Sandwich, Yvonne, she, or Yvette, sorry, she's not very strict on what defines something as being fruity. Um, but it, it's a really good challenge. I haven't actually ever taken part in it. I'm not great at taking part in challenges. I have done the odd one, but I'm not great at taking part in them. I really need to sort of get more involved. I like, I'm a watcher. I'm a watcher on the wall. 10 out of 10 if you can um, guess what that is in reference to. But anyway, that is my pattern and matchup. Number two. Um, oh yes, and they are number three, sorry. Pattern and matchup number three. Um, the Stylark, whenever it is printed out this way, it doesn't really give very many details of sizing um as in actual measurements so the sizes that i have it comes in two sizes sorry about the crinkling um so the first block is 4 to 16 and then the second block is from 18 to 30 so fairly good um size range there now um if i can find the actual measurements for those i will insert them over here at the side i think the last time i ordered stylark i ordered the pattern online and it only actually gave me was it two or three sizes i had to work out what sizes i needed before i bought the pattern and when i bought the pattern there was only like three like the size that i am and then one size on either side um, so I'm glad that the sizes have come this way instead because for me the likes of the dress my sizing 
goes across quite a few sizes like I would be my bust is quite small small whereas my hips in proportion to my bust would be you know a couple of sizes bigger than you know I would be a couple of sizes bigger on bottom than I would be on top so I was all right with the pattern that I got because it was just a skirt so I was able to go for the size and that suited my bottom half but if that had been a dress there's no way that one size either side of what I required would have suited it definitely would not so um it's just something to bear in mind if you are getting Stylark check to see whether you're getting um a fuller size range or whether it's just that sort of narrow three sizes but definitely the ones that I have here for sale are um they're a larger sort of size range um you know within each packet so definitely um check that out if you're getting style arc but I will definitely insert the details if I can get them um for the sizing but yeah that is that's us for today folks um I really hope you enjoyed the three fabrics I hope you love the three patterns um let me know what you think is there any of these that you would love to try um just give me a shout and let me know what you're up to so guys uh, that is all from me for today and i will see you later but please do like and subscribe um come over to the instagram channel and follow me over on instagram and that'll keep you up to date with my own mix i'm going to film another video of my recent mix um there hasn't been a massive amount of them but I will get the, get that up next and um, like I say follow me on Instagram and you will be up to date with those a whole lot quicker. But anyway guys I'll see you later. Remember like, subscribe and hopefully I will see you again next time. Alright see you later. Take care everybody. Bye. <laughs>